Hello everybody, I'm Red Chu, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We're out here again because I missed this honeycomb, so thank you, Zevin Hex, for telling me. Because I wouldn't have known otherwise. I didn't realize that I missed the honeycomb, but we're back out here, and we're going back to Gruntilda's lair now, where we're going to enter Mumbo's Mountain. And then play Mumbo's Mountain. Because that's all we can do right now, I think. Because we can't go up that little thing without Kazooie's walking skills. I'm pretty sure we learn her walking skills in Mumbo's Mountain. So that's pretty much the only place, the only option we have right now. Mumbo's Mountain! There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find molehills, and I'll explain. All right. There, I don't know what he just said. I forget already. There are three new something. How do you fight? I don't even remember. There we go. We punch that dude like that. I forget all the controls because I've been playing Spyro before this, so I'm used to Spyro's controls now, and I can't play Spyro's controls in this game. So, whatever. Ikum bokum. Me mumbo token. You for mumbo magic. All right. So we got a mumbo token. There's a Jinjo up here. I don't really know what I called these puzzle pieces up here. I think I called them Jinjos, but I'm not sure. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me. I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. That's what we need to do. We need to find bottles. So he'll teach us how to get up steep slopes. <laughs> I'm a note, one of a hundred in each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Okay. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. So we gotta collect ten of these jigsaw pieces, whatever they're called, I don't remember now. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. I'm not ready to leave this world yet. I've still got to rescue all of these Jinjos, collect all of these notes, among other things. And I can't get up. The yeah, I can't. Okay, I got it. I didn't think I was going to be able to. There's another Mumbo token, but we'll get that in a minute. I'll also collect that last music note that I forgot, so let's rescue this Jinjo dude. Jinjo! Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world! Free us all to get a Jiggy! Oh, they're called Jiggies. Maybe I called them Jiggies in the last episode? I don't know. I thought I called them Jinjos, but I could be wrong. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z and then press the left C button. Could send you to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. So hold Z, left C button. Okay, so that's how we do this. All right, so we finally learned how to do the steep hill thing with Kazooie thingamajig. So we could go to the other worlds if we want to right now, but we're not going to because we still need to collect all these things in this world. So let's do that. Oh, I thought that was a puzzle piece, but it's not. It's another Jinjo. We've got five Jinjos to collect. 100 thingies of these notes. 10 Jinjos. I already said 10 Jinjos. 10 Jigsaws, what I meant to say. Hey, I like it. Come here. We got you. As you saw in the one thingy, you can slam on these. I don't know how to use butt slam. I'm assuming that bottle boy here, bottles. Well, tell me how to do that, the butt slam. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and then press Z to send Kazooie slamming on down to the floor. Gulp. I don't like the sound, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Yes, we will, Nest Girl. So let's get up here and bang. One thing I gotta get used to that's not in Spyro the Dragon is that I have to actually hit these notes and because I don't have sparks to collect them for me, so that's gonna be something to get used to. Something a little bit extra. Another jigsaw piece, so that's okay. So we've got three jigsaw pieces out of this world, I'm believing, yeah we do. So that means we've got, how many more? I don't know. We'll find them, eventually. Hold on to your horses, Jinjo, I'm coming. I got you! 
So we've got one ginger left. I do know where this one's at, actually, because I remembered playing the game. Okay, yeah, we don't want to go up here yet. He's in the water. Somewhere. In the water down here, I think. Underneath the water, probably. Okay, maybe he's not underneath the water. He's right there. But I knew he was in the water, so... That was something. So we collected all five jinjos. We got another jigsaw piece. Awesome. For me. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just something about this music. It's just... I don't know if it's just the nostalgia or if this music is really, really good in this game. But it is awesome. It brings back so many memories for me. This music does. And just playing the game in general brings back just so many memories for me. I just love this game. I really don't want to quit playing it, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to record a lot of it. Uh, I mean, at the same time and stuff, uh, playing, so... I won't get a lot of opportunities to record is what I'm trying to say. So unfortunately, I probably won't be able to play it that much. Okay, we got a monkey up here. Gorilla. Grar! This conga's tree. Me hit bear with oranges. Hit me with the oranges. I remember this puzzle too. Is that Diddy Kong? Diddy Kong! I forgot you were in the game. Crap. We need to go back here. Grr! Clever bear, find Kong's gold. We got the golden jigsaw. We're gonna go see Diddy Kong because I didn't remember he was in the game. But apparently he is, so okay. Come here, Diddy. Chimpy hungry. Wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Well, I don't remember how to get him an orange, so we'll do that in a little bit. For, for now, I'm going to do something else, because I'm pretty sure I've got other things to do here. Okay, so we'll just go into Mumbo's cap or Mumbo's lair, little cabin thing, his skull cabin, because I don't know what else to do. I don't remember what Mumbo actually does. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. So I need to find two more Mumbo tokens. But for now, let's just kind of collect these notes in here. And are there anything... There are things up here. Hey, I don't know how I get up there though. That's something I can't remember. Maybe we jump up here. Then we do this. That's how we get up there. Okay. So we figure out how to get up here. Let's collect these eggs because why not? I'm already up here. I don't know what else I could do in here because I don't have his tokens. So let's go out here and find two more Mumbo tokens. Among the other things that we have to find. But I don't know where they are. There's a door here. I didn't even notice this door earlier. But I could... I did remember that you could get in here. I just didn't really remember how. Hey, no bears! You calling me ugly? You're the ugly one, you stupid ants. We're going in this ant hill. Crap. So I, I'm assuming we need to use Kazooie's magical feet here. There's another token. Okay. So we can't even do that there. Excuse me. We can't even do that there. So I don't know how to get up there, but we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Okay, I got an orange. Let's give it to this dude. Yum, oranges are nice. We gave him the orange, we gave it to Diddy Kong, because I'm pretty sure this is Diddy Kong. He looks like Diddy Kong. Chimpy like Kong, good orange. Chimpy help fat bear and bear. Bear and bird. Whatever. So we got this, oh, so this is how we learn the spitting of the eggs out of our behinds. Let's talk to Bottles over here, see what he has to say for himself. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z and then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead and you can shoot them out from your behind. Sheesh! Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Egg sighting, huh? 
<laughs> Alrighty then. Let's do something else then. Such as knock this stupid monkey off of his platform. Assuming I can. He got the MOBA token, Mumbo token. What is this? Oh! Oh! Okay! That's what that was. It put us a token on Mumbo's mountain thing at Grunty's lair. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Be safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. That's what you think. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, we hit him three times. Ooh, Bear beat Conga. Me give prize to Bear. What is your prize? A puzzle piece. Awesome. A jiggy, whatever they call it. So how many jiggies have we collected so far? That would be the seventh in this world. So there's three jiggies left. Okay. Let's go see Mumbo now since we've got his tokens. Here we go. Got one. We gotta wait. Got two. How many are on here? Three? Ah, timing is everything. And I've got off the timing. Finally! Come on, Mambo. Give me all stuff. Give me all stuffing. Yeah, you're flashing, you're flickering. Ah, Banjo has plenty token. Stand on score and press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. I know what this does. It turns you into an ant, I'm pretty sure. An ant with a bat. Yes, it does. I knew it. Mumbo's magic free to change back to come when ready. Termite, bit small. But, for not bad for first spell, Mumbo practice needed. So it's a termite, not an ant. I thought it was an ant. I should have known it was a termite based on the color. Because ants aren't actually this color. But whatever, we're going into this place. We're getting the rest of the stuff that we need to get. Alright. So that's a good thing. A good thing. Hey, where did you get those shorts? Crap. I want them. Well, you're not getting them. I need that thing, but I can't get it from you, and I'm almost dead, so I don't want to die and kill myself just trying to get that last thing. So, I don't know. I can't hit the ants. Give me that cool backpack, or else. I'm not giving you anything, you stupid puny ant. Crap. Okay, crap. Let's... Can I hurry up and get this before he hits me? Yes. You found all the 100 notes in this world. Well done. My reading of the slowness. Let's just go out here. Whatever. All right. An extra life. There better be more than an extra life up here. And I'm assuming there's a, probably a piece of a puzzle. Yeah, there is. So we've collected 10 puzzle pieces. That is nine in this world. Okay, I'm assuming that was everything in this world then. Nine puzzle pieces! A hundred eggs. A hundred notes. So let's go down. Then go back down. Change me back, Mumbo. Here we go. We'll ban transform. We got transformed back. At least we're not a chicken. Or anything else. So, that's a good thing. We're going to head back. And get that last puzzle piece that was on the thing. It says there's 10 puzzle pieces in the world, but that one unlocked it, and we've collected 9 in here, and it made that noise. So, I think it's safe to assume that we have to go back and collect the one that's on top of Mumbo Mountain's thingy. And Gratilza's lair, so... I don't know. Okay, so that's how we do this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's how we do it. We had to go back into Mumbo's Mountain and collect... Oh. Oh, okay. So we actually did collect 10 puzzle pieces in that world. I thought it was the total puzzle pieces we had, not what looks in the world. So yeah! We've got all 10 puzzle pieces now. We got two from in here in Gruntilda's lair, so we can actually head back now. 
and do other things. Anyway, I'm leaving this episode here, so let me know if I forgot anything. Let me know what you think about the series as a whole, or anything about the series, what I'm doing in the series, etc. Etc. Whatever, however you pronounce it. And if you like this video, slap that like button around a bit with a large trout and share it with your friends because they might like it too. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you geese later. Thanks for watching. These North dudes look like they're gonna zap me. What do they got? Vacuum packs like the Ghostbusters? Not vacuums, but whatever those zap me. There's something that I want to talk about. That is how often I'm going to be doing videos. I don't know if you guys know. Some of you probably do if you know me and about me. But I'm probably gonna be starting work soon with my uncle or uncles, depending on who needs me what we're doing and stuff like that, but I'm probably going to be starting work soon with them, which 